Sukini Kalabasin or Corchette, it's time to harvest the fruits of our labor. Join me at the shed and this may Sukini or Corchette pancake. You're watching Chal Huan Kitchen and Garden, a channel dedicated to garden to plate experience. In this channel, we grow, cook, and share. Let's join Romulo at the garden. It's harvest time for courgette. My very first harvest. There are four. I already gave two to my man and grace. But this, the youngest and the smallest, I'm going to make pancake, courgette, or zucchini pancake. For every cup of flour, we'll be using just one third cup of zucchini, which I'll be uh, grating quickly. It rained the other night, that's why I'm not going to wash it. In fact, that was last night. I think this is more than enough, one third. Yeah. Very simple ingredients. So, in addition to the courgette, one cup of flour. This are optional. Cinnamon and ginger, just one half teaspoon and baking powder. Of course, sugar. The amount is, of course, according to taste. Okay, did I tell you about the eggs? <laughs> so, the egg. I think it's good to mix first the dry ingredients together and then add them here. Okay, now let's uh, mix first the dry ingredients. And throw this away. <laughs> I think you can notice that this shoot is not planned. This is very spontaneous. That's one cup. <laughs> and one and a half cup, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Yes, I'm just going to approximate. This is one and a half. Yeah, that much. One fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, or yeah, one half, I think that was one half, and some salt. I'll get some salt. Just some salt, and I think we're ready to have I added sugar. For more flavor, I'll be using brown sugar. Ideally, one fourth. Ideally, one fourth. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you won't miss any update. Garden cooking every Wednesday and regular cooking Fridays. Mm -hmm. We can also add some ginger. Just one fourth teaspoon. That's it. Now we'll combine the ingredients. Egg. <laughs> the amount of milk will depend how wet it gets. The uh, courgette contains water, so add the milk gently, or I mean gradually. This should be good, this consistency. Okay. Mm. 
let's clear our area for now and we can start frying our pancake. I didn't mention adding some oil to the butter. This is warm now. <coughs> While waiting for this to cook, I'm thinking, uh, how about giving you a short tour? Yeah, you do that. Let's go back to the stove before the cake burns. And while the other side cooks, more views of the garden. Immersive cooking. <laughs> and it's good. How quick that was. We don't have a table for, for this, so let's stay there. While we pour our next uh, pancake. This is done, this is done. Look how beautiful. This is the last piece. And it's big, of course, I have to use all the portions. And I think it's good to garnish this with, well, I even forget the name. <laughs> I think it's good to garnish this with raspberry, join me. to the bar. <laughs> and here. And of course, as we always end our shoot, it's with my mind and Grace and Alex at the other side. Harvest. Okay, it's mm. harvest time for the courgette. Enjoy. Lekker. Sweet or it's really delicious. Gawana, thank you for joining us. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's really delicious, and Alice could hardly believe there's courgette in it. We had to do explain it. It's courgette. It's for pannenkoek. And that concludes another simple but fun cooking here at the garden. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.